In this video, we're going to create a query in Google Sheets that extracts the three left characters from a column and displays those three characters in our query results. So you can see here I have a data set of inventory items. And in this first column, I really have two values. The first three characters indicate what stage each of these inventory items is in. So you can see it begins with the word pre, mid, or end stage. To the right, I have inventory ID numbers. So what we want to do is create a query in Google Sheets that only extracts the three left characters from this first column and displays just those three characters in our results. And eventually we just want to be able to group and sum the unit count based on these three stages that we have. So in this first argument is where we're actually going to apply the left function. But before we can do that, we need to begin with a set of opening curly brackets. Now what curly brackets do in Google Sheets is it allows you to join ranges that aren't physically together. And although all of our data is physically together, we're actually going to break off column A to isolate it so that we can apply the left function. So our columns will not be physically together in a sense. So before we can insert the left function, we need to insert the array formula. And the reason for that is the query is an array output, but the left function is not an array output. So we have to nest the left function in the array formula to convert its output to an array. So now the left function has two arguments, the value we want to look at and then the number of characters we want to extract. So that's first argument is going to be all of column A. And the number of characters we want to extract is three. So now we add a comma and then we can join this isolated array back to columns B and C. And now, very important, don't forget your closing curly bracket, otherwise this will not work. So now we're into our second input for the query, which is the select statement. For now, I'm just gonna say select star, and I'm gonna add a where condition. Since we selected the entire columns here, I'm just gonna say where column one, and um, one thing I should probably point out you have to use the column number since we essentially created our own virtual array. You cannot use column letter anymore when you apply this curly bracket to the first argument. So we want anything where column one is not null. Our final input is the number of headers we have in our data set, which is one. We do that and you can see we get only the first three characters of that first column. Now you might notice that it also applies that to the header. So if we want to change our header, what we can do is after our where clause, we can add a label statement. So we can say label column one and then in single quotes, just give it a label. So we'll just call this stage. And there it is. So before we group by these three stages and sum this second column, there's one thing I want to show you that we could also do. We could add this column as it is in addition to this first column we created here. It's easy to do. All we'd really need to do is change this to a instead of B and you can see it produces an additional column with the full description easy enough but now what we want to do is group by this first column here and sum the unit count so I'm gonna flip this back to column B and I'm going to reference column one here in our select statement, and then we want to sum on 
column number two. And after our where condition, where column one is not null, we want to group by column one. And there it is. And you know, if we want to format this output here, after our label statement, we can add a format sum of column two. And then in single quotes, we can give it a number format. So I'm just going to apply comma number format for the thousands place. And there it is. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.